Welcome back everyone. Thanks for joining me for this beautiful pet portrait of Sandy. This is Sandy. This is the reference photo that I referred to while I painted this portrait. Here I'm giving you a list of all the colors that you'll need if you'd like to paint a portrait like this. And here I'm going to be painting the underpainting of the lawn. Sandy's fur is a cool white fur and in different areas there's also blonde, like a warm blonde tone around the ears and different parts of the fur throughout the body. So in this video you're going to see how to paint white fur two different types of white fur, the cool white and then the warm white because Sandy has both colors. The paint colors that I'm using here for this uh, cool gray underpainting is titanium white, Mars black, and just a tad of phthalo blue mixed together. And uh, this is for the underpainting of the cool areas of Sandy's fur. If you like this video, let me know. I'd love to do more like this. And um, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications of more videos like this one. I'm going to be doing more and more pet portraits here on YouTube. I hope you all enjoy it and I'd love to hear a comment from you about it. So for this portion of the underpainting, I'm using burnt umber mixed with a little bit of titanium white. Everywhere that I put this underpainting will be the blonde colored fur. It's a very light, light, light blonde. It's actually, like I said, a warm white area, um, but there are tiny bits where the, you know, the shadow is and when the 
ears turn and all that where you'll see a little bit of a darker blonde color but um, of course this looks very dark right now but then we'll be painting the um, the white over the top of that because this is just the underpainting at this part of the painting it just looks so funny it's almost like you can't even imagine that this is going to turn into a beautiful pet portrait but be patient it is At this point, when we start to put the uh, underpainting around the eyes and the nose and the mouth, that's when the dog starts to come alive, basically, in the painting. It starts to look like a dog rather than just a lot of blotchiness. such a happy smiling face on this dog I just love it it makes me think of that song that uh, a lot of people are using with their little happy dogs on TikTok. it goes something like this but remember I don't sing very good I'm an artist but I don't sing <laughs> it's like happy just a happy dog I'm just a happy 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 dog See that smile starting to pop out there? I love it. Now we're going to work on the nose. The nose is brown with uh, like a lot of pink, like a pinkish brown. And then she has these designs on the front of her nose where it's just pink. It's really cute. So the colors that I mixed together for the nose are uh, burnt umber and I mixed in a little bit of the crim crimson red and I also took it down and used that same color for the tongue um, and then I lightened it up a bit more for the top of the nose. I added a little bit of titanium white to it to make it a lighter pinkish brown and, and then of course when I put the pink part in on the in the little design on the nose um, I just took crimson red and titanium white um, mixed it together and uh, made that and then also took that and I go around the eyes because right around the front of her eyes are also very pink um, you'll see coming up soon
And uh, the design on her nose, the little area that's very pink, it's different on both sides of the nose. You'll see they don't look exactly the same. And uh, when we get to do her eyes too, you'll see that each eye is different. That's the way it is a lot of times with Australian Shepherds. So I took that color and did the lips and um, the tongue and then also around the eyes like I said. Um, you don't see it on the, the left hand facing eye of course because it's behind that little bit of fur. But then I took also the pink and did this underpainting here on the nose because it shows through a lot in her fur. Um, you know just underneath the white fur you'll see as the uh, portrait continues. But um, it's starting to look like a little dog, isn't it? Happy little dog. Here I'm taking the uh, pink and I added a little tiny bit of the brown to it and uh, I'm pulling it in between the gum line, in between the teeth. Uh, this is a portrait that I painted for my dentist so um, I had to be very careful about the teeth. <laughs> I knew she'd notice that they didn't look like real teeth. And of course right now they don't, um, but at the end of the painting I think they do. So here we're starting on the eye and um, the area of the eye is there's a lot of black um, with a blue undertone and then I bring a cerulean blue and white to go around and make the blue uh, part of the eye around the black area. Beautiful eyes. Unfortunately I lost a bit of the footage. My phone had a problem and I lost like a ton of my videos and my pictures. So I'm doing the best I can at posting all the different areas of putting, uh, painting this portrait that will help you paint a dog's portrait in the future. Um, 
so you don't see me actually add the sparkle to the eyes. Um, I'd be happy to do uh, a video, a tutorial just on painting blue eyes like this if you'd like. Let me know, just leave a comment below and I'd be happy to do that for you. So here I've taken the cerulean blue and titanium white, mixed it together, made this beautiful blue color um, going around the black area. And I go over that little tiny bit of um, black, the line that goes towards the center of the face. Um, and then I, I color that back in with a dark uh, black with blue undertones. Um, and then here, just do any other eye. And you see how it only goes to that certain point because basically part of her eye is covered by the fur that goes off in the left hand facing direction. So she also has some little black freckles in the blue part of her eyes and that's what I was doing, just pulling that down into the blue area of the eye. And um, unfortunately, like I said, I did miss a lot of the footage uh, for painting this eye, but I'll definitely do a tutorial on uh, just on eyes. So it's very important to uh, make it a darker blue up towards the top of the eye and shadow where the eyeball itself would uh, be shadowed by the fur going over the top of the eye or the eyelid, I guess you would say. So I'm very, very sorry that um, at this point my camera was off. It's not that I lost the footage, but for a huge chunk of the painting uh, where I came over and I added uh, titanium white burnt umber with a little bit of uh, cad yellow mixed in to continue the underpainting on the ear and then uh, down on the bottom part of the fur and around the eyes. I missed all that. So I'm very, very sorry about that. But that's what we have here. I've gone over, uh, like I said, that part of the underpainting on the ear and. Uh, I'll be putting a lot more white on top of that. Now here I'm adding the titanium white with a little bit of phthalo blue mixed in because it has like a, uh, you know how it, white has that bluish tint to it when the sun hits it. That's how her fur looks. And uh, then brightening up right around the lip area where the lip kind of turns, I put a little bit extra of the white with that little bit of blue. And now I'm pulling the fur over that underpainting and that's where you can see how white fur is painted to look like real fur. Um, when you pull that lighter color over the dark, then you see the um, actual fur going in different directions. So that's what I'm doing here. And under the area that you see the warm blonde undertoned, I mean underpainting there, uh, you see a lot of the gray. Uh, and then I'll come over that with, uh, with the bright titanium white with that little bit of blue 
and um, add those little streaks of fur. So here I just took a little snapshot of all the different areas uh, up to this point that we've done in the painting. So like I said, I lost uh, because my phone crashed on me and I lost a whole bunch of footage. This is where I lost the footage. So from this point on, I'll be showing you um, the details in the fur. So now I've already painted all the white uh, over that underpainting. Uh, looks quite a bit different from that last picture that I just showed you. I've already painted the white over the top of the ears and all along the fur and the body. Um, and then I'll be getting into, I also, as you can see, had added the brown in different areas of the, um, the gum line and right underneath the upper lip of the dog to put the shadow in the tongue and also the bottom part of the lip for shadowing and then some areas where there's like brown in the, uh, in the side of the lip. Um, okay, so I'm pointing there to the fact that that's the dog's rear end at the top there, not part of her head. So I had to add a little bit more fur on the side because that's her body and uh, it was a little bit small. So I added a little bit more fur there to widen out the body. And I'm just adding titanium white with a tiny bit of phthalo blue here for that top coat. Um, and adding all that fur texture. And then a little bit later, I'm going to show you how to do all the fine hairs around the nose and all that. You see how nice and fluffy and real that white fur is looking now. And you just want to kind of sink your fingers in there and and pet that dog, don't you? It looks so fluffy and pretty. Where the dark area is and you see a lot of shadow, that's because there's a collar under there. You can see the tag in the front. Um, and because the collar's there, the fur is going over it. And that's why that area is a bit more gray because it's shadowed. I think it must be like a uh, like a halter type of collar because it goes way lower than her neck. So, uh, but that's why that fur is bumped out there. So here I'm going to put some of the um, dark areas of the fur in and just kind of go around, just putting a little bit more texture. and putting light and dark in different areas. And if you can see her eyes, you'll see that she has the sparkles. Here I'm adding a little bit more of the gray on the area that's actually her rear end and the side of her rear end. So you can see the differentiation of the head the ear and the back side of her body. So I took a little bit of the burnt umber and some glazing medium and I glazed over the underneath her nose um, with that to make it a bit more brown. If you remember I had had a pink 
sort of underpainting there, pink over the white. So now's the time when I just kind of go around and tweak everything before I put all the details in, the fine details in around the nose. Um, a little bit later I glaze a, a bit more of a darker, the darker pink, adding a little bit more crimson to the white mixture and go over the pink area of her nose because it was a little bit too bright. And uh, you have to be real careful with the glazing. You want to make sure that you do it at the end of the painting because it just adds a hint of color. But if you add glaze on top of glaze, it can get really tacky. So I'm showing you here the two different uh, reference paintings I had. One for the pose or the posture or positioning actually of the animal. And then one for the coloring because I put this animal outside in a lawn. I also, as you can see, I missed the, the footage of putting the grass in. So um, like I had put on the notes there, I am going to be painting, a go I'm working actually now on a golden retriever and I'll be adding her into a similar setting. Uh, and so you'll see how I paint the grass like this, this wild lawn here in that painting coming up soon. So subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be notified of my next uh, tutorial and you can see if it's one that would interest you. So here I'm just adding a little sparkle to her eyes and um, and also a little bit more detail around and in her eye area. Beautiful, beautiful blue eyes. And they look, they're both completely different. That's how it is a lot of times with Australian Shepherds. Like mine has a brown eye, and then it has one eye that's brown and blue. So here's where I'm glazing that darker pink over the pink areas of the nose, like I mentioned earlier. And a little bit ago you saw me lightening up the pink around the eyes, um, in the front and on the side of the eyes. And uh, also going around the teeth, a little bit more detail to the tooth area. And with the teeth I painted them with a titanium white and a little bit of cad yellow. So putting a little bit uh, of a highlight around the crease area of the, the bend in the tongue to make it look more realistic. And then on the lips, lots of little creases on these lips. And now I'm gonna add the details on the nose, um, the areas uh, that are a bit darker where the whiskers are going to come out of, and all those fine hairs. Um, and then there's some areas where she has little freckles. So and here's the area where the whiskers come out. And I did that a little bit too dark, so a bit later I go over it with a little more titanium white. Basically, this is just a, a gray, like the underpainting color gray, which is Mars black titanium white and a tiny, tiny little bit of, um, of phthalo blue, just to keep it real cool. And I'm putting those in, I call them freckles, but they're just little areas that are shadowed basically where the whiskers are coming out.
So I didn't mean to say I was going to work on the nose. I meant to say I was going to work on the snout area around the nose, adding those little areas where we're going to put in the, um, the um, whiskers and the little fine hairs. And as you can see uh, up there on the ear and around the eyes, we have a lot of little fine hairs there. Um, and please notice here as I'm doing this, the eyes and the sparkle in the eyes, uh, also around the gum line where I took a little bit extra of the, um, the uh, burnt umber mixture and went around the teeth to show the definition of the teeth. So when we add a little bit of shadow up here on the top part of his snout, it shows the, um, the shape of the snout. It squares it off or, or rounds it off depending on the dog, but in his case it kind of like uh, squared it off a bit. I'm adding a little bit of more fine lines around the uh, eye area. So here's where I'm just going to put in all those little fine lines uh, for the hairs over that brown part underneath the nose, um, also coming down over the tongue, and then the whiskers. So that's what I'll be doing here. And also I took a bit more of that, um, the gray that I was making, the shadowed areas where the uh, whiskers will come out. You can see all those little bends in the fur and everything. Down under the eyes, if you notice, I use that gray to kind of make some shadowed areas where you see a little structure, a little bone structure in the face. And then coming around the lips too, and underneath the lip, uh, the turn of the lip, that's very important. You see all the little fine hairs that come over uh, from the lip over the tongue? It just makes it look so realistic. And so here I'm adding uh, some long whiskers. And you see how uh, when you look at the ear uh, and you see the white coming over that underpainting, how it makes it look like little skinny hairs and different texture. So here's a close-up shot of all those little fine hairs and the sparkles in the tongue. And So at this point, I look at the uh, reference photo, and this is the one for the position. And I just make sure everything is right and I tweak whatever needs to be tweaked. And here is the beautiful portrait all done. And now I just uh, wanted to show you a little closer up of using just the tiniest little detail brush with a little bit of titanium white and, um, and black actually, so it's gray, uh, to make those fine, fine little whiskers. And you have to have the paint very liquid with a lot of water, just very liquidy. And some more fine whiskers on this side. Look at that smile. Thank you so much for joining me today to see this pet portrait. If you all would like to have a tutorial just on how to paint white fur, how to paint black fur, or just focusing on the eyes, let me know. Please leave a comment below. And subscribe and uh, hit the bell for notifications and share on social media if you would so that others can enjoy this if it's something they'd enjoy. You take care and thank you so much for joining me today. Bye-bye.